Welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to set up your Oculus onto your computer so you can play games off your computer and how to install mods onto Gorilla Tag. So let's start off. To get your Oculus onto your computer, you're going to need the MetaQuest app, right? So once you get that, then you can uh, use it. I'll leave my Discord in the description, which will have some uh, links for the MetaQuest app, Steam, all those things. You're going to need uh, Steam, or you can use Meta, or you can use Standalone like this, whatever you'd like. Whoa, oops. When you have those, you're going to uh, get your headset, get the a cord, preferably at least 10 feet, right? I would suggest 10 feet. You're gonna need a decent computer, by the way, because if your computer sucks, it's not going to work out too well. Now, get your headset, plug it in, plug the cord into your computer, and then what you're going to do from there is you're going to log into your headset, right? So give me like a few seconds. Uh, Good. Once your headset is all plugged in, your Oculus app will give you a uh, setup thing. It does not do that for me because yeah, it didn't do that for me because I've already set it up. Once you set it up, you will open into a uh, screen. I can't show you the screen, but it will uh, look very white with a grid on the ground. Okay, rather simple to understand, I hope. It will allow you to use your monitor and everything while you're in here, which is how I'm doing it now. You can see my mouse moving around and everything, right? Um, give me one second. Now that you can hear me better, I hope. Possibly. Yep. Okay, we're good. Um, once you're in here, you want to make sure you have Steam, right? Steam VR. You want to have Gorilla Tag on Steam. If you do not, you will have to pay for it. If you do not want to pay for it, however, for instance, you don't have $20, you can do something interesting. You can link your files with Monkey Mod Manager to your uh, headset on Oculus, right? So if I open up monkey mod manager i'll put a link in the description to my discord right open up all these select what you want to load it to oculus click this and you want to go to where is it this pc oh my goodness local disk right you want to find program files you want to find if i can find it I'm the wrong one. Oh, I'm on the wrong one, I think. Uh, so I was in the middle of editing when I realized uh, I suck. So I didn't show you properly. I'm going to show you now properly how to uh, find your Gorilla Tech files, right? So you want to go on Monkey Mod Manager. You want to go press these two dots up here. You want to go this PC, local disk, find program files for Oculus, by the way. I've shown you Steam. Program files, go down until you find Oculus, right? And you want to go to uh, software, software again, another Axiom, Gorilla Tag. Then click on Gorilla Tag EXE and click open. Um, yeah, that's it. Subscribe. I might possibly be on the wrong one. Oops. It'll be in one of the program files. You will find the Oculus thing and you will select it. For me, I'm gonna use Steam, so select Steam. Then go to, oops, where is it? Steam apps, go to common, go to Gorilla Tag, select GorillaTag.exe, click open. For you, for uh, Oculus users, it will be, um, Oculus, Oculus apps, Gorilla Tag, or another Axiom, Gorilla Tag. Click that, click open.
Then for mods, go to mod folder and you can, hold on, hit install slash update on all these things. Make sure you have uh, Bepin X, Utila, Bepin Jack, X and Jet, Jack, and then hit install slash update. Then go to mod folder. You want the different Utila file I will provide in my Discord, so join that. Delete the other one because that one doesn't work, it's broken. Right now, you can have all these things, other mods, put in any mods you might want, and then you're good, right? then you can literally it's as simple as that that's all you need so then hit install slash update again if you'd like you don't have to right now okay open up steam go to gorilla tag or oculus whichever you're using and play now give it a moment to load up Let's start loading. Ow, I stepped on something. Go ahead and open up. Wait for Gorilla Tag to open up. There, it's loaded up. Now, as you can see, you can't see me. Yes, you can. You can partially see me. No. It's because I have a camera mod. Okay. Um, a bit laggy. Hope it's not affecting my audio. If it affects my audio, I'm going to be mad. Angry. <laughs> okay. Apologies for spinning constantly, but I'm lagging, so. Like, yeah, it's very delayed. Whatever. Um, anywho. There we go. The cosmetics are working. As you can see, we have this here, which is a uh, map loader, basically. You can open the demo map if you'd like. Why am I so freaking laggy? This is a very bad first person, no offense. Anywho, I'm loaded up like this. I'm no longer laggy, nice. So, welcome to the demo dimension, monkey dimension 1.1.0, right? We go here, 1.1.0 introduces slippery object, try it out. What the? Anyways, also introduce triggers like teleporters, for example. You can figure out what this is. Oh, weird. Cool. 1.1.0, other trigger events is to enable slash disable uh, objects. Some map makers to add more terminal stands to their map. You've probably already seen. That's basically it. So yeah, it's cool. Yeah. And go back to Gorilla Tag. Boom. So, uh, mods. Ow, I just punched my microphone. Anyways, you see, you have mods here, right? Do not use any of these things. These are bannable. I wouldn't suggest using them, right? Platforms, not bannable. These things, wouldn't suggest using them, but... No gravity, low gravity, high gravity, reverse gravity, gravity wind, gravity switcher, right? No clip fly. These things are safe to use because whatever's on bark mod menu is safe to use, right? We join a private code. Jeez, I'm lagging. Gorilla tag would stop lagging. That'd be amazing. You know? Yep. Fan code, guys. Join that. <laughs> If it would let me join. Do these things, right? Modded casual. 
Okay, we're in the room, right? You can now use your mods. Oh no. <laughs> you can now use your mods to your discretion. You can invite people into the private server, but make sure they know you're using mods or you can get banned. And I don't like being banned, so I wouldn't suggest doing it, right? It's not safe to uh, use anything that will lag people's games because you can get detected. There's butterflies. Get over here. But yeah, so that's mods, right? Uh-oh, the bees are after me. I've stolen their honey and I'm out. Ow! Need to get a bigger room, honestly. Anywho, so yeah, I will leave some mods in the description. And by mods in the description, I mean my uh, Discord will be either in the description or it's on my channel. If I can't put it in the description, it will be on my channel. So. Use it to your discretion, okay? They chased me in here? Are you serious? Anywho, use your mods to your discretion. Do not do anything stupid. I do not have the finger painter badge. This is just a mod I use, okay? Anyways, thank you. Hope you found this useful. Subscribe. Join my Discord.